So we get hired to paint a lot of concrete and resurface it and make it look good again. I mean, we've done some jobs that look really, really bad and turned them into looking just like brand new again. But the key is really, you know, when, like, what do you use for paint? What do you, what can you put on something like this that's outside that's going to last, you know, and just not peel off and not flake off in a month? So that's the real key. And we found the right paint. This stuff's a fairly new product, but it bonds really, really well. It's just you just don't know where to get it though. So I'm going to tell you at the end of the video where to get it. Now this is the stuff we're using, Mapai Mate Coat Deck T, and what it is, it's basically it's a high build. It's a textured acrylic deck coating, so it has a little bit of texture built right in it already, which helps make it slip resistant. And you can buy it, you know, in a five gallon bucket. We usually put on two coats when we do this stuff, but the key is really knowing how to prep the concrete for this stuff and most of the time all you really have to do is pressure wash you know unless you got some concrete repair to do now you can see this pool deck was in really really bad shape as far as being dirty so we had to actually use a, a scrub brush with it but that's the basic prep right there pressure washing it getting rid of all the dirt the mold and the mildew getting it clean you know and then letting it dry out and then you know you can you can put two coats of this paint on and your deck is going to look just like brand new again sometimes some of you guys might have some repair to do you know it's pretty typical for an outside patio that's got any amount of age to it to have some repair whether it's salt damage or just you know years and years of abuse um and and the repairing is a whole nother technique if you guys want to learn how to repair concrete I'll have a link for that down in the description. You can just check out the concrete underground and I, I show people how to repair concrete in there, but that's usually part of the process, knowing what to use to repair concrete um, and just what will work if you're gonna paint your, your patio, you know, so you can hide the cracks, hide the spalling and the pock marks, or if you've got any little holes or anything like that. It's just a little bit of a process, but it's really not that hard to do. And then once you know how to do it and you know you know how to blend it in then you you can paint right over it and pretty much just hide it so that's what we're doing here on this pool deck this pool deck had a little bit of crack repair to do so we just mixed up the repair product put it in the crack kind of feathered it in and then we take a little rubbing stone we kind of rub and stone it smooth you know and then we'll vacuum or take a leaf blower to it clean it up again this was another pool deck we're doing with sanding it and lightly grinding it to clean it. Um, this one had a little bit of crack repair too. We did the same thing to it. And then, you know, you, we just smoothed them out. And then, you know, once it's clean and dry, then you're ready to go. Now, it's not to say that, you know, concrete does move, especially if you live in a freeze and thaw area like we do. It may tend to move a little bit in the winter. It's not to say those cracks might not reappear. And you may have to just touch them up again but for uh you know resurfacing an old looking worn looking really crappy looking concrete this paint is going to work really really good that this this pool deck had a lot of ice and ice melt uh damage to it so we had to repair a lot of that that's basically what the paint looks like in the bucket you know we always takes a drill a drill mixer and just get it mixed up really good and then we can put it in our our paint trays and just go to town um, we like using half inch to three quarter inch nap rollers with this stuff. It just seems to hold more paint in the roller, makes it go on a little bit faster. And then for us, what we do, you know, when we're doing it for a job is usually one guy will cut in edges, sometimes two guys cutting in edges if we're all there, and then one guy with an 18 inch roller. Um, and then we just, we just roll right over. And this particular acrylic deck coating paint it dries really quick so if you're doing a fairly good size area you know if by the time you get from one end to the other if it's 20 or 30 minutes a lot of times you can come right back over it and just put on your second coat now we like to apply the first coat at about 100 square feet a gallon so it actually goes on quite thick and like i said it's got texture built right into it and then the second coat goes on pretty easy that'll go on at about usually 150 to 200 square feet a gallon and it covers really really good so it makes a really nice even looking coating 
and it comes in just about any color you want you know you when you'll see at the end of the video I got the place where you can order it from you know you call these guys up um, you give them uh, a color whether you go to Sherman Williams and you just pick out a color and then you give these guys that color swath and then they can pre-mix it and ship it right to you and it comes in that color so that's what we do anyway you can see this this place here was in pretty rough shape <laughs> you know it was a set of stairs a wheelchair ramp a little sidewalk to it uh, we went in we prepped it all cleaned up any of the patching put two coats of this this concrete paint on it and it came out mint came out looking like a brand new entryway this was another job we did had some repair to it obviously you know we did our repairs cleaned it all up went over it with a nice light gray coating and it made those stairs look like new again so we've done multiple multiple patios and pool decks with this stuff this stuff had a coating on it already we pressure washed it we ground it put a nice coat of light gray on it and it made that pool deck look just like new again it's just a matter of you know what what do you have for concrete there already if your concrete is already in pretty good shape and all you have to do is pressure wash it then this is going to be a pretty easy product to use it's pretty diy friendly for sure i mean there's um really not anything you have to worry about as far as pot life you just dump it in your paint tray and just keep working steady if you got to stop for a minute that's fine you know just put it put it in the shade you should be good and then just keep working but you know for us when we show up we did we typically don't like the people to be down more than a day so we'll like to show up we'll try to do everything in a day if we can and if there's a lot of prep and repair it might take two days but the coating itself like going around a pool like this twice uh, two people could probably do it in about I'd say about three hours you could probably get two coats on this this is what this looked like before you can see it was in pretty rough shape it was actually raining a little bit that day and then afterwards I mean it basically you can't tell how old that is it looks like brand new afterwards that was about 30 years old that concrete so it was really really worn looking here's a job we did this entryway was in real bad shape that stuff was flaking off so I went in there and I chipped it all off I ground that concrete nice and smooth and then I put two coats of this concrete paint on it you can see what it looked like it just made that ent entryway look 10 times better um, and we've done we've done I don't know how many projects like this we've done multiple multiple projects and a lot of them up here in Maine they're pool decks so they sit outside they sit outside all year long you know through through heavy winters and we really haven't had much trouble with any peeling or flaking or touch-ups you know we haven't really had any callbacks so this stuff bonds to the concrete really really well as long as you do your prep right you know when you take your time putting it on I don't think you're really gonna have much trouble with it bonding to your concrete you can see the difference this is what this looked like before it was in pretty rough shape really ugly looking and then it make it just changes the whole look of the backyard so if you're looking for a concrete paint this this Mapai Mape Coat Deck T is really really good stuff and you know it's it's a fairly new product some of the older products that we've used they've gone out of business they've stopped making them anymore so you can't even get them so we've been looking for a new supplier and Mapai is the one that has you know come up with a really really good product for just about anybody to use you can see you remember what this this looked like in the beginning really old and worn looking they wanted like a beige a really light tan look for their backyard and this is what it ended up looking like right here can't really ask for it to look much better you know that's a 10 year old pool deck this was about 10 years old right here just a lot of mold and mildew pressure wash here and, and two coats that's all it took on this one the concrete was in really nice shape and it just you know it, it brought the whole concrete deck back to looking brand new again um, multiple jobs we've done like this tiny little entryway few little cracks in it you know clean it fix the cracks with a little bondo two coats of paint brand new again um, again this pool deck here was was in really rough shape as you saw in the beginning so just you know showing you some more pictures of what this stuff can do 
and what it can look like in a basketball court we've done in multiple colors uh, old pool deck here again looks like brand new again so a mape coat deck tee is the name of the product and these this is where you get it new jersey decorative concrete so you just call those guys um, tell them what you need what you want how much square footage you have and they'll help you out on it thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one